Hi guys, it's me Bianca and I'm here with a video. Now before I get started, I want to say um, thank you guys so much for staying subscribed to me. I know it's been a while since I uploaded and I actually don't upload as frequently as I have in my, um, the, as frequently as I stated in my banner, which will be in a weekly upload. Um, so I just want to say, sorry about that guys, um, I can't even say that I'm going to try to get it out, a video out every week, but I'm going to do my best. It's usually like, I don't know what to talk about and like, I'm the type of person like when I'm going, for example, if I'm in a class, I only give advice if I know that, you know, I don't know, I like to go through it first and then give advice on it and not give premature advice but um today's video is about just a semester recap as you know I had foundations and um, pharmacology last quarter uh, I went to my first clinical site and um, yeah y'all I was taking it was a 16 credit course assist uh, sorry I'm taking this I have a light facing me but it's just like way too bright okay it was a 16 credit quarter um i'm in a in a, a little, 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 little. i'm in a an accelerated adm program so our we have a total of eight quarters and for every year for a year and there are eight no there are 12 weeks long so um it was 16 quarters 16 credit hours that I completed last term and golly was it stressful it was stressful because like both of the class foundations and farm are very 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 time-consuming like you physically have to be in class and there's like a lot of different components to it and um, there your pass or fail is based on your exams so there's no like discussion polls like it's none of that it's literally based on exam and then a lot of it's like a lot of the other components are pass or fail like those calculation tests in your um, CPEs your clinical performance evaluations and stuff like that thank you by the grace of God I was able to get through it with everything that was going on during that time if you didn't know I lost my grandma I made a very emotional video where um, I didn't have all this hair that I have in my head now because I cut it because I was just like I needed to like do something and so I cut my hair. Um, I lost my grandma to cancer. Um, it was a very tough time for me because um, she was someone that I loved so much and she was near and dear to my heart and um, it was the first time I've ever, ex ever experienced something like that. So a lot of my time during that quarter I spent um, traveling because um, she lives in she lived in Jacksonville and that's where my the rest of my family lives and um, a lot of my time was spent like between Tampa and Jacksonville and so a lot of days I did miss a lot of time a lot of time in school but thankfully my school is very understanding right and plus you have to have proof of these things so I was able to make it up and stuff like that um it was tough but one piece of advice that I would give you is um, don't if you're facing something traumatic or if you're in a hard semester class and you just don't know how you're gonna pass I would totally say that you'll be surprised what you can do if you focus and also it is very important in my opinion to make friends with people who are in your same boat who want to pass because the last for the last two exams um, me and a couple of people like we literally studied like up until the last few minutes of the exams and thankfully for that time we did really really well um, also I would also say that um, don't listen to the naysayers because like a lot of people were trying to discourage me and a lot of people in the program I should say who took those two classes together and wasn't successful in one and had to repeat another and um, they kind of told me oh this is hard 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 but you know I just I just had faith in myself and I knew that I can do it and I also knew that I'm here for a reason and I'm gonna follow the track that I'm on because I want to be a nurse by my 27th birthday so um, 
that was that but um nursing it was hard like don't get me wrong it was hard but like it was hard because I didn't read and I didn't prepare that's what made it hard for me because like once I read and once I knew how to answer the questions I was good you know like the right or the wrong answer stuck out like a sore thumb so that's what I would advise um sorry um this video is not like super structured but I honestly like I don't okay and you guys leave uh, whatever down below but I don't want to be like all the other youtubers like having five questions or five tips or whatever my style is like you know talking to you about my experience and whatever comes to mind I say it um and that's pretty much it and if you guys have a question on something you let me know and I would elaborate on it but I really can't give you like five or six tips because um, at the end of the day like if you read and like read and do practice questions you will be successful but you gotta read and know how to apply the information that you've learned and um, I feel like with nursing school it's a learning process with every level you go up it's a new um, way that you have to um, learn and whatever so I hope this video was useful um, helpful it was just my semester recap and I just to let you know guys that I made it through I passed both classes that's really what this video was about I passed both classes so um, if you have any questions or any video requests leave them down below bye